Sam says Hillary's kind of dull. Whenever we go out, Chris, she wants to go home early, like she's 40 years old. But her blind date found her wild streak. I, I invite her to stay the night. All Hillary can do all night is just sleep. Who's anything about sleeping? After Sam dates a woman who likes to swing. She kind of looks like a stripper of sorts, I guess. And her lingerie makes him go swing. There's a sexy bra hanging on the doorknob. She's a 34C, Chris. Will they stay together or will they have a change of heart? Thank you very much. Welcome to Change of Heart. I'm Chris Jagger. Now, this is a show where couples who've reached a crossroads in their relationship voluntarily go on one blind date with someone new. We're going to meet their dates later, but first, let's meet our couple. For the last seven months, they've been proof positive that opposites attract. Now, she dresses up, he dresses down. He plays life by ear, and she's a planner. He parties till the break of dawn while she wants to go home early or rent a movie. Please welcome Sam Christensen and Hillary Burton. <laughs> welcome to Change of Heart. Now, you guys, your relationship has been... Your relationship has kind of been push-pull since the beginning. But, Hillary, talk to me about why Sam's so special and what you see in him. Chris, Sam knows how to romance me like nobody else. One night, uh, he blindfolded me took me in his car and we drove up to this beautiful hillside and uh, watched the sunset, had a picnic. It was great. Very romantic. Okay. And Sam, what do you find most appealing about Hillary? I'd have to say her heart. Um, we met at a church group feeding the homeless. I'd give her a ride home and wanted to kiss her right there. Oh. That's nice. Hillary, is there anything that your church group would be shocked to find out about Sam? Oh, yeah, Chris. Sam has a... Really bad habit of picking his nose. Oh. Watch does, those hands. The guy does not know what a Kleenex is. He uh, picks his nose, rolls it up in a little ball, oh. flicks it. Sam. He she farts does too. all the time. Oh, that's yeah. nice. She's the farter, Chris. I'm she telling you. Is? Oh, yeah. No. No, chicks no. don't do Sewer that. rot, Chris. <laughs> his are bad, and he is, oh, it's disgusting. All right, Sam, how does Hillary act when she's hanging out with your friends? Uh, she's a nag. She, oh. she makes me look whipped in front of no. my friends. I think I'm stupid. If I don't nag him, when, uh, he, he doesn't listen to me. Hillary, what kind of things are you nagging him about? Just his way all the time. Whatever we want to do or whatever he wants to do, we have to do it. His surfing comes first. So if he wants to go surfing and I don't, I have to nag him. I and... like to go surfing, Chris. Yeah, you know, oh. guy and his board, man, they're on the water a lot. <laughs> whatever. It's priority for him. I don't even... So he, you don't rank. think he's making you a priority, though? No. Sam, Boring. what else does she bug you about? Uh, she's a material girl, Chris. Uh, I got this. I got this killer '79 Dodge truck, and she's so ugly. She's and ashamed she's the of biggest it. Biggest piece of crap. I feel like white trash in it. Oh. So he says it's a killer truck. You think no. it's a killer white trash. truck? It's ugly. If, if it's we orange, like drive to the movies, she'll make me park in the boonies so she has, doesn't have to be seen in it. You know, walk, when like, he three first started driving the it, he was embarrassed too. He was I'm totally never embarrassed. embarrassed. That's a killer truck. Whatever. Uh, right, Hillary, it's when you guys ugly. are arguing, does Sam ever admit that he's wrong? Or... Oh, never. He is so childish. He has I'm always little, right, though. He has oh, this sure. thing he does, baby talk, and he thinks that he can get out of any situation by doing, doing baby talk. So he's always, I'm just a little boy. I, I don't know, what know she's any talking better. About. Oh, yeah, you're so busted. What, what do you mean you don't about. know what she's talking about? I don't know what she's talking about, no. Chris. Now, Sam, so you said Hillary's a material girl. Does that mean you have to take her shopping all the time? You know, I try to stay clear of the malls <laughs> for fear of her dragging me into a jewelry store. What? <laughs> well, what happens if she gets you in a jewelry store? Well, she, uh, she wants me to put a ring on her finger. She's scared of that commitment. No. Is that true, Hillary? No, I'm the one who doesn't want the commitment. He's always talking about marriage. <laughs> Yeah. Not even. You got like the opposite stories here going yeah. then. <laughs> he thinks, you know, that I'm not ready for it, and so he doesn't want to put the ring on my finger. But nah, he she... is always talking about marriage. All right, well, Hillary, I'm then scared. why is it now a good time then to go out and date somebody else? Well, Sam's kind of my first real serious boyfriend, and we've been together for a while, but I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll test the water and see if there's somebody out there that fits me a little better. All right. <laughs> we'll see what happens then. Testing the waters here. It seems that Sam and Hillary have some obstacles to hurdle. Now, when we come back, we're going to meet the people that they dated, and we'll find out, will they stay together or will they have a change of heart? Stay with us. <laughs> Welcome back to Change of Heart. We are here with Sam and Hillary. Now, Sam says Hillary is a nagging material girl who's got him fitted for a ball and chain. So we gave him a get-out-of-jail-free card for a night, and we sent him out with a girl who's all give and no take. Please welcome Chandra Meisner. Yeah. Hi, Chandra. Nice to meet you. 
Nice welcome. <laughs> Hillary, does Chandra look like the kind of woman that Sam would have fun with? Well, I mean, she kind of looks like a stripper of sorts, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Sam, what did you think of Sandra when you first talked to her on the phone? You know, uh, she sounded like my dream girl, Chris. She was all pumped up, ready to go to the beach. Uh, she described herself. She sounded hot. Uh, she did have that annoy annoying Fargo accent, though. Minnesota. A little bit of that? Yeah, that bugs you. And yeah. Chandra, your first impression of Sam when you met? I thought Sammy was a cutie. He, um, he came over, he was sexy. He was wearing this little cap and shorts and a t-shirt, ready to go. And you like that? Oh, yeah. All right. And Sam, since you have these dream girl expectations after talking to her on the phone, did she live up to it in person? Well, look at her, Chris, yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> Sam, what was she wearing? I mean, how was she dressed for the well, day? She's wearing these, these tight little black shorts. Is that and all this... she owns? Is that yeah. like clothes? She's wearing this shirt with a slit right here. It came oh, down. Yeah. You can see her, her maroon bra at the bottom. Oh, yeah. She was looking hot. Yeah, she guess. dressed to impress, that's for sure. So, Why not, Hillary, though? Hillary, are you surprised that Sam was uh, paying that much attention and scoping out the bra and everything? You were um, scoping out my bra. Oh, hey, it was, it was hanging. Usually Sam's not into all that flashy stuff, but... <laughs> that's not what he told me. Okay. Oh. I guess for one night, it's worth a try. Okay. Now, Chandra, if I was a betting man, I'm going to think that maybe Sam suggested some surfing activity for you guys. Oh, yeah. Um, we went... We went down to the beach. I was gonna go surfing with him because I do surf a little, not that great. And he, I ended up sitting on the beach watching him surf. Oh, Sam, were you disappointed though that Chandra wasn't on the board out in the water with you? You know, I would have liked to see her get all wet, but. <laughs> of course. She was stoked to watch, you know. I was, I was really happy that she would be there watching. Did she have a choice she or a did time. you just kind of drag her out there like you no, always do? No, she actually wanted to go and watch. Okay. So did, Sam, now on your date, were you in the 79 clunker thing that whatever you drive? Clunker thing? Well, I'm just going by what Hillary said. Dude, that's a cool truck. Chris. Okay. You know, I know I found the right woman when she thinks that my truck is awesome. <laughs> did you? And, and Chandra, did you? Um, honestly, I didn't mind the truck at all. I didn't. So does that make Hillary materialistic because she didn't like the truck? Well, it's a little L.A. of her. Um, I'm from Minnesota. I'm not the... from L.A., so I guess that wouldn't fit to me. Well, it is a little materialistic. I'm from Minnesota, and that would have been fine out in Minnesota. Well, a tractor would have been fine for her. <laughs> Chandra, tell us what was on for after surfing now. Well, after we were done surfing, um, he was done surfing. We went back to his truck, and he ended up taking off this big bottle and taking a sexy shower in front of me. Oh! A road shower. Now, see, Hillary, there are some sexy sides to surfing, I guess. Yeah, I've seen it all before, so it's nothing new. You didn't like it? Oh, I love it. I've done it with him, so. Sam, Chandra was turned on a little bit. Were you getting turned on at this point also? Oh, uh, well, we went back to her place to get ready, and I was in her bathroom getting ready, and there, there was a sexy bra hanging on the doorknob. Strategically placed, I, uh, I'm sure. No, it's always there. Was it the same one that she was out. wearing? You know, she's a 34C, Chris. Oh, wow. Oh, you did. Okay. Hillary, is this the Sam that you really know? Uh, I'm kind of surprised. I mean, he's kind of disappointing me here with all this scandalous talk, but I guess if that's his new thing, then why not? Now, Let Chandra, if this isn't uh, too personal, was that the bra that you wore to dinner? Uh, you mean this one? Well, no. the one that he was scoping out. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it was. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sam, you said that Hillary wants you to buy a ring if you ever got into a jewelry store. Any talk of the future with Chandra? Well, yeah. She said that she wants me to move to Minnesota with her and have babies with her. <laughs> I was like, cool, let's go. Oh, that you was know, okay. Like, you know anything about cows and horses? And... No, you know, it, it was cool that she was teasing, but Hillary's serious. Yeah. That's, would... that's the scary thing. Now, like Sam, as the date went on, did you get a chance to get any other glimpses of Chandra? You know, when we were playing pool, she was pretty distracting, bending over, taking her shots there. Well, that's yeah. the only way you play pool, though. It was but really, it was really sexy like that? that she was such you a good pool player. She beat, actually beat me a couple times. And Chandra, oh, so that I did distract him? Do you think that was the distraction problem? Yeah. You? Yeah, maybe because of, um, I beat him in a few games. That must be her technique, I guess. It is no technique. I do shoot a good game, I do. You know how to handle the stick. I do, but um, towards the end of the night, I did, I did win a few games, and um, he wanted to place some bets, and so we did place bets. He wanted to place bets on kissing, and so I was playing, if he won the game, he would kiss me, and so I, I ended up losing the game. Oh, I'm not gonna say if course. I was trying or not. 
And he came over and gave me a kiss, and then he said, can't you do any better? And I go, what, you want some more tongues? And then he laid, a da he laid forward and gave me another kiss. Oh! And then... All right, Sam, you said Hillary. You said when you're out with Hillary, Hillary wants to go home and go to bed early. What time did your date with Chandra end? I dropped her off at 4 a.m. Oh! 4 a.m. Morning too oh. at eight. Darn! I know. I'll tell you, life thing. is tough sometimes. Yeah. Was all that competitive kissing at the pool table enough to give Sam a change of heart? We're going to find out later. But next, we get to meet the man that Hillary dated, and we'll hear what happened on their date. So stay with us. All right, welcome back to Change of Heart. We just heard what happened on Sam's date with Chandra, and now we're going to meet the man that Hillary dated. Hillary said she wants a man who won't pick his nose in public or pick his surfboard over her. So we hooked her up with a classy guy who always uses a Kleenex. Please welcome Teddy Watson. Hey, Teddy. Good to see you. Thank you. Welcome. You're a good guy. You gotta be jealous of him. Sam, let me ask you, does Teddy look like a Kleenex using kind of guy to you? Oh, yeah, looks like a regular mama's boy to me. Mama's probably oh! right there with the, with the handkerchief, oh! wiping his nose for him. Okay. Uh, Teddy, <laughs> did you call Hillary to make plans for the date? Yeah, I, actually I did, and um, the first time that I actually called her, Sam answered the phone. Oh. So, you know, I thought, I thought, hey, you know, that's kind of cool. So he hands it over, and I hear him in the background. Your boyfriend's on the phone. Oh. And I'm like, is this, is this guy childish or what? You know? He was so jealous. I'm just messing around, dude. You weren't jealous then, Sam? Is that what you're telling us? Yeah. He no, got so no, mad. Just and, messing around. And so I'm talking. I'm trying to at least give her directions, and he wouldn't let her get directions Yeah, he's out. like, get off the phone. Get yeah, the directions like, get and the get off the phone. guy's a scumbag. Make, he made Cal her drive to Calm his house down. for the date. Calm down, Sam. Uh, what well, a hold scumbag. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Hillary, when you got a chance to talk to Teddy, were you guys hitting it off? Yeah, Teddy and I had a lot in common. We're both uh, psych majors. We're both in our third year of college. We're both the youngest of five. So it was really great. We had a lot to talk about right off the bat. Uh, well, that's good. Now, Teddy, when the date started, did you guys get off without a hitch? Uh, there was actually there was a little hitch. She, um, she showed up a little early, and I was still in the shower. So oh. after she drove. She, uh, she, she was buzzing me, and I actually came out in the towel because oh. she, she, she didn't know how to work my door, so I had to go out and let her open the gate. You know, but I, I, of course I apologized. I was really embarrassed, so I apologized to her, and I let her know that I was sure sorry. Should have been embarrassed that she drove there. Now, Hillary, was there any baby talk when he was apologizing to no. you? No, Teddy was all man. <laughs> totally built. Totally built. He had a really nice six-pack, and uh, Sam's kind of got this pot belly, but... Uh, Teddy is looking good. He looked like he hey, just no, let's, stepped let's out of a, out a GQ. Sam doesn't have that bad of a pot belly. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, Hillary, during the date, did Teddy disappoint you any point along the way? Um, at one, you know, he didn't, like, compliment me on the way I looked at the beginning or at the end. So I didn't really know how he felt about me. So that was a little disappointing. And, Teddy, what was the problem there? Were you not into Hillary or no, what? No, not, not at all, bro. She was, she was really cute. She came up and she was wearing a cute little sundress. And she had on a nice, a nice top to match. A little conservative, but... Um, she, you know, she was cute. My, she, was, she was my type of girl. Well, that's good then, I guess. Uh, Sam, were you uh, familiar with that particular outfit he was describing? I think I am. I believe that that's uh, Hillary's shortest and sluttiest dress. Oh. He never lets me wear it, so I guess I gotta wear it around somebody who might appreciate it. <laughs> Hillary, Hillary, you were complaining about his car. Who has the better wheels between the two guys? I'd say Teddy by far. Got a really. Oh, yeah. He's got a really nice. Uh, Thunderbird, and I told him that Sam's car was comparatively a piece of crap. So it was. Gotcha. Teddy, uh, did things click on the date? Seemed like you had some things in common. Yeah, yeah, things really clicked. We, um, we, we were vibing, and we went to the aquarium. She, she picked that part, so we, we decided I got dinner, she got the aquarium, and so we went to the aquarium. Things were good. We changed the. Wait, she paid for the aquarium? No, 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 no. Oh, Trust okay. me. It's my idea. Trust me. It was her idea. Because you've never taken me there, so I had to go with somebody right. to take so me. Right. So it was, it was her idea. At least I would drive yeah. there. If I were to take you there, I wouldn't make you drive nope. yourself. It's totally strategically planned, though. Seriously. Yeah. I did volunteer to drive there. I mean, it would have been out of his way to drive to my place and then go back to Long Beach. Backtrack so. and everything yeah. else. All right, Hillary, you said Sam put surfing in front of you. What about with Teddy? Did you get that sense? Uh, Teddy's been surfing for about a month. I, you know, we talked about his surfboard there, but you know, right off the bat, he said this was my special night. We would do whatever I wanted to do. So I felt really like I was priority. It was all about you. Oh yeah. So then, what you did? What then? 
So then we uh, went to, a, we played pool. I, <laughs> you played pool? Yeah. <laughs> It was my idea. We were. Well, I, I go to Long Beach State, so I took her around and showed her the campus a little bit and kind yeah. of kind of well, seen it. Teddy, let you. me ask you about your pool playing. Unlike your counterpart Sam here, were there any distractions while you were shooting? I cannot tell a lie. I, I was I was a little distracted by her legs. They, you know, they were nice. They went they went from the ground all the way up to the, to heaven. So I, you know, I. Pretty much, <laughs> All right, Hillary, let They're me ask rocking. you about the restaurant selection. Was it something that Sam would typically pick, or was oh, it different? no. It was five-star first class. Sam's kind of oh. into the the T-shirt, jeans, hat-wearing kind of restaurant, so we went to a really, really nice place. I it took her to this five-star restaurant in downtown Long Beach, the Sky Room. It was rated number one, actually, in um, all of Los Angeles County. I think so they're nice places, too. Eight-piece eight no. orchestra. I mean... And so. your date got... Was there romance, yeah, she, then? Yeah, she pulled me out. She grabbed my hand, pulled me out on the floor. We got kind of close. It was time to, you know... <laughs> Her perfume just smelled delicious, I thought, and you know, she gave me a nice little neck rub, and she rubbed my neck centrally and g gave my traps a, a perfect rub down. Your traps. Like your nose for you? Teddy, for the nightcap, what happened? Very you much do so. That? Well, we talked about it. Um, it was a long day, so we decided to go back to my house. We kind of cuddled on the couch, watched some TV. I bet you did. Yeah, we did. It was nice. Yeah. Um, You're talking it, about about us getting together, and, and then and then when I then I it was yeah. getting late, and so. You know, she seemed kind of tired. I didn't want her to drive because, of course, she did drive down there. Um, we decided that. And so I, I, I invited her to stay the night. I offered her to stay the night. Now, Sam, what do you think of Teddy's hospitality? He's being quite hospitable. Yeah, he was, you know. See, that's about all Hillary can do all night is just sleep. See, we actually stayed out and we're doing things all night. Who's said anything about sleeping, huh? <laughs> so, so, Hillary, um, did, did you, you stay? Hillary, did you crash at Teddy's place No, then? actually, you know, I'm really not that kind of girl, to be honest with you. And so I just said that I would drive home. In fact, the first night that Sam and I went out, he held my hand. I thought that was a little forward. So. Well, I respected it. Yeah. I totally, I was just an offer. I'm so it ended yeah. on a good note then? Very, very yeah, good Yeah, he uh, walked me out to my car and uh, gave me a really nice, long, tight hug. It was really nice. Okay, there we go. Sound like they had a great time. Now the question is, will Sam and Hillary stay together or will they have a change of heart? During the break, they're going to make their decision. We'll find out, so don't go away. All right, welcome back to Change of Heart. Now is the moment of truth, because during the break, Sam and Hillary each made a final decision about the future of their relationship, and there's no turning back now. Will they stay together, or have they had a change of heart? Hillary, you came on this show because you said this is your first serious relationship, and you thought maybe there might be somebody out there that would be a better fit, so... We're actually going to start with Sam, though, and get his decision first. Sam, you said you wanted to date a woman who wasn't going to be shopping for engagement rings, somebody that wasn't nagging you all the time, like you said Hillary was, and somebody that was less materialistic, which is a hard word to say, uh, <laughs> than Hillary. So there you are with Chandra. You had a great date. You had a really good time. She went to the beach, did the surfing thing, hung out and watched you the whole time. You were sneaking peeks at her lingerie over at the apartment and everything. <laughs> but it's your decision. Stay together or well, change you, of heart? Well, you know, Chris... Um... Hillary, you nag a lot. Chandra, you didn't nag at all. You dress all preppy. You dress really sexy. Um, you hate my truck. You pass the truck test. So, you know, I'd have to say that Hillary's heart wins and stay together. All right, Chandra, sorry, that didn't work out. I think you surprised everybody with that one. Hillary, now we're gonna come to you for your decision. Now, you said you wanted a man who was gonna put you first. Somebody that had no disgusting habits, uh, you know, that actually could say that they were sorry if the occasion arose. You had a really good date with Teddy. He took you to a five-star restaurant. It was romantic. You had a good time. You shot some pool and had a really good fun. Uh, you ended up at his apartment hanging out there quite late. But Sam wants to stay together, so it's your decision. Stay together or change of heart. Well, Chris, Teddy and I had a really, really good time. We have a lot in common. He's definitely my type. Really classy, really fun, really good manners, unlike Sam. Um, I don't know, if Sam learns some manners and learns how to apologize, maybe doesn't mm, put up with my nagging. If he learns to apologize, maybe I'd stop. But maybe if he changes his ways, things will work out. So I'm going to have to say, stay together. Stay together. Teddy, sorry things didn't work out for you. 
Well, Hillary, Sam, you know, you learned coming on the show that you're probably a better fit than you thought, and maybe the show will actually help you work through some of the problems that we discussed here today. So thanks for being here. That's our show for today. Thanks to Chandra and Teddy. Good luck to Sam and Hillary. We'll see you next time here on Change of Heart.